first one. Yeah, well, there's something else there. Crazy. Fuck is that? Okay. 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 To look fake, I ain't gonna lie. No, you wanted more Oh shit. Oh. No. Okay, I'm going to start there real quick. I'll be right back.
you want to. Do. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go back. Back at it once again. I want to thank everybody. Uh, everybody at Game King City. Do you know how we do it? What happened here? Let's go. Okay. Can you go back? Oh, I'll go put it back. Yeah, she's on to something. We got a commercial. Got it again, y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm making from the aliens. Mm. Mm. Fucking hair, my fucking shit.
several breaks in your feed chain. You have an overwhelming amount of nuclear and biological weapons, which include nuclear and biological contamination. You try to improve the process. So what they didn't name anyways? Can I get his name at least? Yes, so we've got a If that really was the aliens to say all that, be more specific. Because everything I heard was something that I could have used and found out myself. But let me know what you think of the comment. Let me know what you think of the comment. That is like a big ass you for your four, I ain't gonna lie. You think it might be fake? Oh, it disappeared. Look, look, look at it, look at it. It's in the clouds, look at it. How random is it to be outside and mount the crew and just happen to find a UFO? That's. <laughs> look, look, look. Look at this shit. Look at that. I don't know. I don't know, man. Now, I've seen a lot of clouds move across the sky in my lifetime. But that one clearly had somewhere to go. <laughs> oh, shit. I was fucking lazy. an easy way to get that LLC next to your business name, say hello to Taylor Brand. You just go to their site, enter your LLC state, add your business name, answer a few questions, and that's it. Now your business has tax flexibility, personal asset protection, plus is approved by the state. And it took you like what? Seven. Uh, 
I move out the same. This is the house floor. Freemason. Ah, yeah, that's the numerati, y'all. That's crazy. Did I beat a pussy and go up there? <laughs> Watch this video that I'm showing you. This happened in a public place, like a shopping mall. All of a sudden, what looks like a portal opens up. That's fake. See people start to scatter. Then this spear suddenly disappears. Oh. People start to come closer, wondering what that was. Look at their reactions. Leave it in the comments. Unanswered yeah, that's That's That whole mall is everywhere. Cleared out. What you're seeing here is water and memory. images frozen in water. Probably right after the And these images were created in the frozen water after showing the <laughs> Don't fuck the <laughs> the oh no mm. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Fucking cats, uh, I swear you cats. Damn, so I have this fucking crazy guy 
that just popped up in front of my car out of nowhere, and he's freaking me the fuck out, bro. I called the cops. What the fuck is this? Lock, get up and lock his ass out. He's standing in my front of my car like that. I'll beat the fuck out of him. Look at him just walking into his ass. Run over his ass. <laughs> What is this fool doing? This shit has never happened to me in my life. Run over his ass. I would have ran over his ass. If I would have been me, I would have ran over that fool. <laughs> this dude he ain't gonna walk in front of my car like that, pussy. Look at this dude, man. Fucking clown. What is this dude doing? He's high. He's on drugs, sir. Huh? Drugs. Yo, do you need money, bro? Do you need help? What's going on? I need to go the fuck out. I don't get the fuck out of my life. Look at this dude, man. Hey, John. I saw something when I walked up. I saw somebody at the with Antonia. Be careful, man. How was it? Alexander suffered from a neurological disorder called Guillain-Barre syndrome. 
They believed that when he died, he was actually just paralyzed and mentally aware. During the Salem witch trials, the accused witches weren't actually burned at the stake. The majority were jailed, and some were hanged. But none of the 2,000 people accused ever got burned alive. Facts that are almost too weird to be true. Part 1. Before alarm clocks and way before smartphone alarms, there were people called knocker-uppers who would literally knock on people's windows to wake them up in time for work. Up until the 1970s, knocker-uppers used a long stick, soft hammers, rattles, or even pea shooters to reach their clients' windows. Wait, what? Knocker-uppers? <laughs> okay. Creature of the terrestrial biological entity one, or Evil one Evil one was the lone survivor of the crash. Five other alien bodies were taken away. There was also footage of the 1949 crash. It was a similar craft, silver, saucer-shaped, there were six bodies there and no survivors. Evil One was taken to the Air Force facility at Los Alamos. According to the briefing, he stayed there until his death in 1952. The Air Force learned a great deal from Evil One in those five years. At first, the communication was difficult. Evil One's language was comprised of tones, not words. But through hand gestures and repetition, Evil One was able to communicate. He said that his race, which the military called the Avens, had been visiting Earth for 2,000 years. On this trip, something caused his ship to crash. Evil One suspected it was radar, which was a technology his people didn't have. Some equipment was salvaged from Evil One's craft, specifically a communication device. Evil One offered to share this technology if the military would allow him to repair it so he could contact his people. Of course, the military agreed. Evil One was able to get the communicator working again and sent several messages, but never received a reply. This could have been due to a number of reasons. Evil One's home planet, which the military called the Servo, was in the Zeta Reticuli system, almost 40 light years from Earth. The Evens used wormhole technology to travel and send messages back and forth. After Evil One died in 1952, the Air Force tried, but was unable to reverse engineer other alien technology. But they did have a working communicator, so the Air Force continued to send messages for years. The persistence paid off. Eventually, they received a reply. A two-way communication between Earth and Servo continued for a long time. The Evens even learned to speak broken English. the crashes, the Evens wanted their crew's bodies back. But the military being the military wanted something in exchange. Now let me guess, they wanted technology. Yep. But the Evens said it would be too dangerous to give humans their technology. But I could have told them that. So the Evens suggested a compromise. The military would return the bodies of the alien crew. In exchange, an Even would come to Earth and assist the U.S. Army. And 12 humans could spend 10 years on planet Servo. This became known as Project Serpo, though its actual name was Project Crystal Light. And so began the first intergalactic exchange program in history. The training was intense, and long, a year. Colonel McKeever thought Special Forces had a difficult training program, but it was nothing like this. There were the usual physical exercises and classroom training. They trained in survival, escape and evasion techniques, weapons, explosives, and intelligence power. They also learned about even history and even biology. The most aggressive and invasive psychological training and testing. McKeever remembered one unusually difficult exercise designed to test the team's ability to cope with isolation and confined spaces. Team members were buried seven feet underground, one at a time, in a seven by five foot box for five days. No lights, no way to communicate, only a small air hole and food and water. Everybody passed this test, but some people really struggled with it. Oh, come on! Five by seven feet is a palace! Throw a pan! During training, McKeever got to know his team. There were scientists, linguists, pilots, two doctors, and a security officer. They all received general training and training geared toward their specialty. For example, the pilots were taught how to fly an even aircraft. This was surprisingly easy and apparently a lot of fun. The Evens returned to Earth in 1964 to retrieve the bodies. This happened at Holloman Air Force Base in Mexico. There's actually footage of that landing. A year later, in July 1965, the team traveled to Green Lake, near Area 51, for the landing. At 6 a.m., the Even ship landed. Several Evens came out to meet the team of 12 and about 16 military officials. The human team was allowed to bring whatever they needed for the stay. They brought 40 tons of gear, including 10 motorcycles and three Jeeps. Yeah. So that was like a whole mission. That was the You had to be a certain type of person to be, to be ready just to go to the Earth and go to the whole all right, well, it may seem like a bit much, but here I am, total camping. Guy gone missing, last thing caught on his camera is terrified. I brought the eight person head, or the six person head. I have 
focusing at a long time, so I can't crystal even I should say on that just to give it a go about that time. So we're doing the video, we got three minutes, so caught, I'm terrified, see if you catch this. What is this shit? Oh, I'm What the fuck was that? Yeah, I think it's that one. Like an alligator or something. First of all, all the first thing is the food style. Well, that is another one of the books. Okay, y'all. Uh, oh, thank y'all for watching. And uh, if y'all want something, uh, let me know what y'all want to watch. But thank y'all.